Hi guys, it's David here. And in this video I'm going to talk about the secret reason we put things off. So, most of us procrastinate. We construct these goals that in our mind are going to bring us to where we want to be in life. We know what to do. We know what to do to see those things come about, right? But we don't do it. And after a while, you know, it becomes this cycle of setting targets, failing to follow through with them, and feeling a sense of guilt. It's very, very common. And really, when you do this for long enough, you realize that there is a purpose behind that whole process, behind that whole pattern of behavior. And it's quite, um, it's quite a big realization. It's sort of a hidden reason, a hidden motive behind why we do that to ourselves. And it's really this. For you to achieve those things that you want is very simple. It's actually very simple. And, you know, whatever you think is required of yourself to do those things, it's not even as hard as you think it is. Okay, all it requires is a little bit of, of input from your part and um, consistently showing up and putting in some some effort some achievable effort right but we don't do that and the reason is what happens if you do all those things you complete your checklists and everything else and you're still left with that sense of hollowness of what now okay so it's a sort of a fear of getting in touch with the emotions that are there that actually drive us to want to improve ourselves all the time okay if you're um, very productive and you get things done you get to a point where you can rest for a while okay you've got some time to sit with yourself okay and it's a fear of I, I'm not sure what I would do with myself if I had all my goals achieved, right? If I did those things that I've been thinking about for such a long time and beating myself up for, for not doing, right? So here's the good news. Here's the good news. When you do reach a certain level of productivity and consistency and actually do finally get around to doing those things that you've berated yourself for not doing you d you do come to a point where you um where you sit with yourself and there is a sense of hollowness there is a sense of what now but the good news is that answers come okay answers come and it's very good to be in that place because usually okay the sense of emptiness is still there but the at least the the underlying sense of guilt about not doing these things and not getting them off your checklist is not present for a while at least so you do have some time to just sit with your emotions and not rationalize them away saying oh well i need to do this i need to do this you know those those excuses are gone so you're just left with your feelings and you sit with them and new answers come okay all that is needed is to sit for a while and really ask some serious questions okay sit in stillness i don't mean to intellectualize this or to um plan and micromanage your future just to sit for a while and get in touch with your higher self your higher mind your your intuition whatever word you want to to call it okay and answers come answers come your even the way you see the world changes 
okay um, your mindset changes you start to hear a, a more loving voice that doesn't always get a chance to talk because you're so preoccupied with to-do lists and guilt and attack thoughts because you're not being this wonderful productive person okay so realize remember that if you're in this pattern of setting goals not doing them the real fear here the real reason you're you're not motivated and you're not doing those things is because you're afraid of what will happen how you might feel when you are productive when you have actually achieved all those things okay and you've ha actually have gone about around to doing what you think you need to do okay um, but the good news is there's nothing to fear okay you face that fear and you start to realize okay there's another level for me okay there's something else i can do there's always another level for you okay there's always another level for you so it helps to bear that in mind because it can help us to understand why am I not following through with the things I need to do but that I know I need to do and I know how to do it's really because we're afraid of what will happen in the silence okay so I hope guys you find that helpful um, also if you want to contact me for uh, I do one-to-one -one work uh, psychotherapy um, you can contact me the link is in the description very easy to um, just send me a message and I will get back to you very quickly. So guys, thanks very much and I will see you in the next video.